let's talk about how to create and apply character styles to a document. The first thing that I want to do is make sure that I don't have the text box selected. Let's open up character styles. If you do not see it, you're probably using a different workspace. I'm using the typography workspace. If you don't want to use that, you can also go find character styles by the window dropdown. Hover over types and tables, character, and then tab over to character styles. Create a new style. It comes in as character style one, double click. You'll see some options. I'll rename this to eco. Go down to basic character formats. Under font family, I'll select Arial. Under size, maybe I will go with, I selected 24, but then I'll edge it down to maybe 22. And over here in tracking, I'd like to increase the spaces between each character. That's what tracking is. I'll just do it a little bit and choose 25. Then I'll go to character color and look for a green. This green will be fine. Now I'll click OK. I have created another style. I'm going to call this one main. The only thing I want to do is go to character color and turn this one back to black and click OK. Now let's try this out with our first instance of eco main. I will double click into the text box, highlight eco, and then click on the eco character style. I'll do the same thing with main. And let's see what this looks like. There are several instances, so we want a shortcut. That's what I'll show you next. Let's go to edit, find change. Shortcut is command or control F to bring up this window. I'm going to choose GREP, then ECO. Find every instance of ECO. This is if I wanted to change it to another word. I do not. I just want to change it to the style I created. And I do that down here. I'll select ECO, OK, then change all. It's telling me seven replacements have been made. That's great. So I'll say, okay, done. This is fantastic. The only issue is I have the word economy here, so it didn't realize. Highlight eco and click on none. That's no style. Now let's apply every instance of main to eco main using again, find change. I'll type in main. And down here, change the character format to character style main. Okay. Change all. Six replacements made. Okay. Done. Looking at this, it looks to me that maybe I went a little too big on the size of eco main. So what I'll do, make sure nothing's selected, double click into eco, and let's go to size and start taking it down. And you can see it getting smaller in real time. Let's take that right down to 17 and click OK. And the great thing is that it intuited that I wanted that change made to main as well. And I did. And that is how you create and apply character styles.